How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Ref Kid video. Today, I'm going to be explaining the proper way to handle kicks from the mark. Okay, first things first. As the referee, you're responsible for knowing whether or not your match needs a winner. If your match doesn't need a winner, at the end of regulation time, regardless of the score, the game is over. If your match does need a winner, you as the referee are also responsible for knowing whether or not the match will go straight to kicks from the mark after regulation time, or if you will play two extra time periods first. All of this information should be discussed in the pregame with the referee team. Once the match or extra time periods have ended, provided that you're going to kicks from the mark, the referee team is responsible for making sure that the players on the field, when the whistle last blew, remain on the field and no other players enter the field. This is because the players who were on the field at the last time the whistle blew are the only players who are eligible to take kicks from the mark. Before entering kicks from the mark, if either team has had a send-off, the team with the greater number of players must reduce their roster size to equal that of the opposing team. Okay, once you confirm that kicks from the mark are going to happen, you then need to confirm which goal will be used and which team will kick first. You do this first by calling for the team captains from both teams. Once the captains have arrived at the center circle, you then tell the captains, okay captains, I'm going to flip a coin. If it lands on heads, we're going to use that goal. Tails, we're going to use that goal, for example. Once you've decided which goal is going to be used for kicks, you then need to decide who's going to kick first. The way you do this is with another coin toss. You let the visiting team call it in the air, and the winning team gets to decide whether they would like to kick first or second. After you've completed these things, you then need to take the goalkeepers down to the goal where the kicks will be taken. While you're walking the keepers down to the goal, you should say something along the lines of, okay, goalies, you need to keep at least one of your feet on the line when the ball is kicked. You can go side to side, you can jump up and down, I don't care. Whatever you do, you must keep one of your feet on the line when the ball is kicked, and do not touch the goal. You should also mention to the goalkeepers that they should stand outside of the penalty area when it is not their turn. Next, you're going to position yourself in preparation for kicks. The center referee will line up on the corner of the goal area to the keeper's right hand side. One of the assistant referees should be on the opposite side of the referee, where the goal line and the goal area line intersect. The other assistant referee should be positioned in the center circle alongside the players who are eligible to kick. If a fourth official is present, he or she will stand between the two team benches on the sideline. All of the referees should be keeping track of who takes the kick and whether or not they make the kick. Now that you have this all set up, it is now time to kick. Each team will alternate kicking five times each, starting with the team who was selected to go first. Also, you do not have to continue with the first five rounds of kicks if a winner has already been determined. For example, if the red team has scored their first three kicks, and the blue team has scored none of their first three kicks, the red team has already won the game, and there's no need to continue kicks. If after the first five kicks, the score is still tied and you still do not have a winner, you will then proceed to do one single round of kicks, one kick for each team, basically sudden death until you have a winner. Once your match has a winner, the referee will blow their whistle for full time and everyone can now go home. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.